Well, you can use the Insta360 Studio app to reframe your 360 footage while you're editing it. This application is nowhere near as powerful as DaVinci Resolve for overall video editing. Unfortunately, DaVinci Resolve doesn't have a quick and easy way of reframing your 360 footage while you're editing. However, luckily there's this free tool that you can use. I'll put a link to this page in the description. What you need to do is click on this button here to download this script. And when you've downloaded it, you should get this reactor installer.lua file. In DaVinci Resolve, make sure you switch over to the Fusion page here, and then take this file that you just downloaded and drag it over on top of the Fusion area. You can see we get this message telling us that we're ready to install this reactor package manager. So we're just going to go and hit install and launch to complete the installation. And you can see the installation taking place here. And once the main installation is complete, we get this dialog box telling us that it's installing the reactor components. So we're just going to wait for this to finish. Once that's finished, you'll get this screen pop up and this lets you install the individual tools. What we're going to do is we're going to open up this Carterverse section here. We're going to click on Carter VR and we're going to scroll down to the bottom here and we're going to tick this Carter VR tools reframe 360 ultra and you can see now it's installing this reframe 360 ultra plugin and we get this tick mark saying it's complete what we're going to do is close this window down and we're going to close davinci resolve and then reopen it here i've got this file from an insta 360 x4 and if you try and import this into davinci resolve you can see it doesn't import it because this is a proprietary format from insta 360 so what we need to do first is open up this file in Insta360 Studio. And if you want to, you can set some in and out points if you don't want to export the whole thing. Click this button here to export. Make sure that you click this export 360 video button. So we export all of the information. We're using the maximum bit rate here. So we get the most quality possible. And then we're going to hit start export. Once the export is complete, you'll get this new file. And this file will import into DaVinci Resolve. If I double click this to open it up, you can see we've got this weird looking footage and that's because this is 360 cam footage. If we scroll across here, you can see that this clip was shot in 24 frames a second on my Insta360 X4. We're going to come over to the edit page, make sure media pool is open and then right click anywhere in this area and choose new timeline. And you might want to untick this box and double check what your resolution is and your frame rate is and then click create. We can now drag in the footage that we exported from the Insta360 Studio app onto our timeline. Close the media pool and open up the effects. Click on effects and down the bottom here, you can see we've got this KVR Reframe 360 Ultra effect. Drag that on to the clip that we just added to the timeline and then close the effects. We can now open up the inspector and we get these controls here. You can alter the field of view here to effectively zoom in and zoom out. We'll come back to these two black dots in just one second and we can also alter the other parameters of the 360 footage. The reason we're getting these black dots is we're going to open up the media pool, right click on the timeline and go into timeline settings. To get rid of these black dots you need to come down to mismatched resolution and change this to stretch frame to all corners and then hit OK and we get rid of those black dots. Close the media pool and now we can start to work with our 360 degree footage. Click on the clip, come back to effects and we're going to start off setting our field of view. You can adjust the pitch, double click on pitch to reset, the yaw which is like the panning and the roll which is the left to right motion. So we're going to start off with the yaw or the pan. And at the start of the clip, we wanna see me riding into frame and we can adjust the field of view here. We can also adjust this rectilinear projection. This is just a fancy way of saying how much we're gonna control the distortion. So we're gonna leave it at something like that. If we play through the clip now, we don't get any reframing, but if you notice these dots down the side means we can make use of DaVinci Resolve's keyframing abilities. We'll move to the start of the clip and I'm just going to set a keyframe for pitch and for your and for field of view. We're now going to move through the footage and get to maybe this spot here. Again, make sure the clip is selected and we're going to alter the your parameter to pan around this way. And as we do that, notice we get this red dot, which is automatically created a keyframe. I'm just going to click this dot to manually add a pitch keyframe and this one to manually add a field of view keyframe. That's because we then want to move down here, change the yaw a little bit 
change the pitch just to look down a bit and also maybe just increase the field of view to get a slight zoom in. And finally at the end here, we're going to we zoom in a little bit more. Let's take a look at that. Now you can see we've got reframing happening right within DaVinci Resolve. Notice though that some of these transitions seemed a bit jerky between the keyframes. We can easily fix that. Come up here and click this little button here, which is going to open things up in the Fusion page. To make a bit of space, close the Inspector by clicking on it and then click this Spline button. Click this box here to turn on all of the splines and effectively you can think of splines as showing us how the keyframes are working. Click this little button here to show us all of the keyframes. Each one of these little squares are the keyframes we just added where we saw those red dots. You can click somewhere in here, hold down Control A on the keyboard and it will select all of these points and then you can select one of these options here to smooth things out. In this demo we're just going to use this smooth option which is just going to gradually introduce the changes in keyframe values. You can see now everything's gone a lot more smooth. Left click to deselect. And if you want to, you can fine tune these keyframes by clicking and then moving up and down. And you can see how these curves alter how the keyframes move between points. Now, if we preview this again, now you can see that these keyframes are a lot smoother and more professional looking. And the great thing about doing this in DaVinci Resolve is we can very easily go and modify the keyframes, including the smoothness and the positions, without needing to go back into the Insta360 Studio app, change the keyframes, re-render and re-import into DaVinci Resolve. We also get access to all of the other power of DaVinci Resolve, including the ability to perform color grading on our footage. I believe video can change the world. This channel is all about making better looking, sounding and edited video. If that's something that you can get behind, please subscribe and really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye.